Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. It's Villarreal, they take on Real Madrid, and it's coming up next on EA TV. James Super Chat, thank you and welcome to a stadium that used to be known as El Madrigal. These days, the Estelio de la Ceramica, a nod to the ceramics industry locally. My name is Derek Ray, and with me for commentary is the former Arsenal and England fullback and Lee Dixon. So, focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It is Villarreal facing Real Madrid.
I believe there's been a goal in the Alaves match. Alan McAnally with the news. It's a goal for Barcelona. 20 minutes played, 1 0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. And the attack looks promising. Firing it towards goal! Asking a lot to score from there. Goalkeeper's ball. Casemiro. Uh, now with Benzema. Uh, and the attack fizzled out. Just wanted to get it out of there. Vinicius Junior. Couldn't keep it. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. The ball's not finding its target. Surprised by the half time scoreline, Derek. I think a few people will be too. Zero goals, plenty of endeavour from both sides. Just lacking that little bit of quality for me. One of them might have to switch to plan B. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Into the centre of the box. 
corner. Too close to the goalkeeper that time. Just in life. And despite the frustrations and the pain and action from La Liga coming up for you live here on EA TV. It's Villarreal and they'll be taking on Granada. Yeah, the fix is coming thick and fast. Should be a good game that. Well, hopefully that's not the commentator's curse. Now, let's see what they can do here. Really good high press. Never going to worry the keeper. Well, no wonder he's looking a little bit sheepishly at his teammates. Head in a hand sort of moment. McAnally is in place because there's been a goal oh, at the Stadium with Mindy Ferrosta. Alan. It's a goal for the home team. It's been scored by Yassi. The corner was missed by everyone. Landed that as he Yassi with a chance to get it back. Yeah, you know, it's just like that. Yeah, 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 Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. And opting for the Liga's approach, the referee, rather than cautioning him. I think maybe if we ended up playing, I think it's been really one of our things that we ended up doing that, that we could easily, you know, uh, go down that pathway. Maybe. Tony Colts. Ooh! Decidedly lacking uh, accuracy. Well, he had other options uh, as well, but he chose to shoot. Money for the new striker. <laughs> Thank you for the £2 donation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right, right. But the ironic thing is, is that you've got money, but you've got a... Uh, Half an hour remaining then. Third string, should we say, at Manchester United. And don't spend it. Waste it. Parejo. So, uh, listen. Well, this is the home of live football. I'm excited to have more action from La Liga coming up for you. It's Real Madrid versus Celta Vigo. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium. It should be a really entertaining match. A change in scoreline at the Estadio de Mendy Zorota. Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Barcelona. It's been scored by Leroy Messi. Bit of a cheeky one. He lets Xavi go down in front. But it's all that one. Just trying to get his message across on the touchline. They've just got to keep pushing. Surely a goal will come. And clearing us away. Paul Torres. Can he find the net? No one on the shot. Set by Courtois. Oh, the touchline for a throw in. First day is just a game that's in place. Apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off in his pump. So clarify, Barcelona did find an end in that game. And their lead stands at 3-1. Parejo. Mario Gaspar. Gerard Moreno. You've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. Shout out to Guy from Super Chat. Hi, DT. Hope you're all well. Surprised you most this season. Um, interesting question. I would say Southampton a little bit. Uh, Are they home? Just a little second half in particular. Not a great pass. Uh, again, there's a clock that's stopped by the manager. I went when it was nine minutes. Now it's a quality pass. Something uh, 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 across was too close to the keeper. I say. I don't think there's anything. Surprises. Palme Costa. Excellent ball over the top. Well, the challenge was Chami, but they cannot clear. Could have been a try. And just over the bar. Excellent effort it was. So that was a massive set down for the end. Sheffield United. Some people will say that's a 